John Herschel, also an astronomer, not quite as well known as William, but uh, in my field we all know who and what he is and what he accomplished. One of the things he did in the early 1800s was essentially invent color photography. He made major contributions to putting an image of reality onto something that captured that reality for others to share. Arguably one of the most important inventions for the recording of scientific data there ever was. For the first time, a portrait of you did not require an artist. You would hire an artist, if you were wealthy, to paint your picture. And you'd want it to be accurate or make you possibly look a little better. <laughs> Over that period, from 1840 through the 1860s, all of a sudden, art did not have to capture reality. It was no longer the obligation of the artist because we had photographs to do that. And in that period, Impressionism was born. Where the artist said, I'm not going to paint what I see. I'm going to paint what this image feels like to me. 1888, we're still in this period. Van Gogh paints. He paints this. It's called The Starry Night. When I look at this, there's a foreground. There, there, there's a cypress tree. There's a village. There's a church steeple. But he didn't call the painting Sleepy Village. Cypress tree. Church steeple. Hills. It is the first painting I know of where the background is the subject of the painting. And that background is the night sky. And it has is, it is elevated the cosmos to become fair game to the artist. And I submit to you that science, scientific discovery, especially cosmic discovery, does not become mainstream until the artists embrace the fruits of those discoveries. So I applaud Vincent Van Gogh for thinking that the sky is what mattered more than anything else in the foreground for this painting. In the case of the artist, I don't want them to represent reality because I have that via my own telescopes. I want and I need the artist to take me to new places. And the new place Van Gogh took me is not the sky as it is, but the sky as he felt it. And the more of us that feel the universe, the better off we will be in this world. Thank you.